feet typically. So as you'll see, our plenum space is probably one of the smallest you'll see in the country. And typically most owners want one foot or less for their plenum space. So having these nice thin boxes really is a great benefit. And then with the medium static duct, you actually have enough fan power to also have some duct work to distribute it. So you kind of get the best of both worlds of having your fan power as well as meeting this nice thin duct requirements that we have here in DC. Right, so the air, uh, indoor unit, as you alluded to before, is a medium static style unit, which yes. you know we hear VRF, ductless split system, but sometimes they are ducted on a short run like they are in this uh, beautiful apartment here. So this is the indoor unit itself, and maybe we can walk through the duct work to show folks how, so it's the suppliers coming here. Before we do that, uh, we did find the OA here earlier is decoupled, so why don't we talk a little bit about that. Sometimes it's piped into the back of the indoor units. You yeah. and I don't like that though, we talked about that. Yeah, so uh, again, the DOAS is handling your latent load, your humidification, mm -hmm. your VRF is handling that temperature control, sensible. So meshing them together doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And then as well as if you duct it in, it can actually give you a false reading on your return. You're not getting a true return. On a return air, if there's a return air sensor, sensor in there, yeah, especially it's like, if it's hitting like right on it. Yeah, right. so um, now we are supplying this at a neutral air. That's the purpose of DOAS, as Chris alluded to with the reheat coil. So we will be supplying this probably around 70 degrees in the summertime. So you won't really notice that but it will trickle it in and give you that ventilation that's needed by code. But then the other problem with if you duct it in, then all of a sudden you're relying on the fan of the fan coil to then help distribute that ventilation. Whereas if you just decouple it and let the DOAS fan handle that. I love it. Okay, so maybe we can walk through this. So supply, and Chris is gonna follow us around here. Excuse me, Tim. And I think we're in the living area yeah. right now. You got a kitchen area here. So kitchen area will be here. And then we've got, maybe if you come around here, over here, Chris, it might be the easiest to get a whole, if you stand over in the corner, you can get a whole span of the, you know, got three supply ducts. So one, two, three. And then the kitchen will be right here. Is yes. what we're talking about. And then the bedroom's over here. And there's another supply duct on the other side here, which is heading into the, into the bedroom, right? So, so yeah, so nice. again, uh, you know, you got a little bit of duct work, so, but not a ton. So the, you know, the fan will be able to handle. And it's not flex duct. It's not flex duct, no. <laughs> <laughs> which is good. Um, great, so it's a nice 